the day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash, cold, and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly, but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. Uh, what do we have here? Rabbit. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black snow. You think we would've noticed? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers, a problem makes. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. Nope. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but if you make problems, well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, 
I'm not me. But Rush here. Well, then you are gonna be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> You done? So, let's try this again. You're gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Okay. Save yourself. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. I recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but... Near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we, we have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Okay. Come on, we're almost there. There it is. I hope mom is okay. Oh, Carmina! Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Mom. Uh, kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? The twins? They took Rush? Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. All right, guys. You know how to handle a gun. You know your way around this valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice.
Oh my god. Jesus, I thought you were dead. I should have known you'd come through. You came back for me. You crazy son of a bitch. You came back for me. We need to go. Now. Let's do this. Carmina? Do you know where my wire cutters are? Kim. I know I put them here somewhere. Hold on. Oh, they were just here. You lose something, darling? Hey, baby. Hi. Hey, you know, if you're busy, I could always come no. back. No. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Thank you. Getting started. Get it while it's hot. Stuff that smells this good won't last long. I will take that as a compliment. Mom thought it'd be a good idea to have a little dinner for everyone to boost the morale. I'd say it's working. We all need a little downtime. Except for her, she's got no quit. Don't expect that to change. Can't remember the last time I hosted this many people. It might have been when I told the whole town I was pregnant with you. Mom. They're all so happy for your dad and I. It's not perfect, and there's still work to do, but it sure is nice to have something to be happy about again. I'll drink to that. You wouldn't have any of this if it weren't for you. Now, come on, go grab a drink. It's long overdue. Come on. Oh, no. You better put those down. I don't want to scare the kids. Carmina. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it when people lie to little kids. Why are you doing this? Because of your hero here. Until you showed up, everything was running smoothly, but you, you've become a fucking problem. Taking from us, throwing everything out of balance. I think we should just kill him. No, hold on. We don't want any martyrs here. What we want is to make sure everyone understands that your help is a curse. Every person you help, every child you inspire, <laughs> every settlement you build, we will take from you. And when you've got nothing, we'll come for you. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> the only currency in this world is power. You, you made us look weak. That ends now! We're gonna take everything that you hold dear. Starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Don't be here when we come back. Come here, come here. Oh my God, oh my God. It's okay. 
now. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside. Let's go. How bad is it? We're in big trouble. We lost a lot of people. The wounded are in bad shape. The Queens come back, we can't stop them. There's nobody left. What about that group in the north, New Eden? Is that a joke? I've seen them in action. They hit the camp I was being held at one night. Just two of them took more bullets than is humanly possible and vanished into the forest. The high women call them ghosts. But I know what I saw. Those people were doped to the fucking gills. We need what you they realize have. realize we're talking about going to Joseph Seed, a man who terrorized and brutalized our family for years. But that was before. He's left us in peace, Mom. Whatever happened in the past is the past. Stay out of this. We need help. If we don't get it, we're all dead. A deal with New Eden is a deal with the devil. It's the only one on the table. Whatever they have, whatever their secrets, we need it. Are against the wall. Find out what this Joseph has. I'll patch things up here. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? The bearded man? He was just giving me some food. If he ever shows up here again, you come straight to your mom and me. Do you understand? I'm hungry. He said we have to find food wherever we can. Yeah, but we don't take anything from him, not even food. Why? Because we knew that man before you were born. He did some very bad things. He, he hurt your dad and tried to hurt our family. Hey, you see him again. You run away as fast as you can. You hear? Go, go on inside, honey. She's got to learn. We do not accept help from the babies. Go to where it all I was expecting. Maybe the same could be said for me. If you came here looking for the old man, well, do you have the book? Do you know what that is? The word of Joseph, his teachings, his guidance, his wisdom, and his madness. I have searched everywhere for this book. Joseph said the one who found it would be ordained by God to be the true ruler of Eden. And you are the one who returns it to us. It should have been me. I'm the one they turned to when he disappeared into the north. 
I'm the one who has held this family together. I'm the one they chose to lead. I have protected them from the locusts and the snakes. I have kept us all alive and safe within these walls. Not the old man, me! My father wanted to build a paradise, but when it got too hard, he ran away. You came here looking for his help, but Joseph is dead. No one wants to acknowledge this, but it's the truth. Our family still believes in him, and they'll never stop believing in him until they understand that he was not a messiah, he was just a man. Help me show them. Bring back proof of his death, and I'll help your people. But New Eden will not allow you to travel north until you prove yourself worthy by lighting the flame of Eden. The people know this, Mark. And they will lead you to the flame. A non-believer is a sinner. A non-believer does not know our ways. A non-believer... ...has relit our most sacred flame. We need Joseph. He cleanses our sins. Father will absolve the sinner. Send the sinner to the north. Family of New Eden, you have searched your hearts and truly believe that this sinner should seek our father? Yes. It is certain. The father shows mercy to sinners. After all, we are all his children. Prepare the sacrament. Yes. Prepare the sacrament. Bring the sacrament. Give them the drink. The, 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 the Father guides us in this moment. Make them drink, please. The sinner is granted pilgrimage north. They will bring back the Father. <laughs> Praise be to Joseph. Amen. 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 This will allow you to cross the threshold and live. Bring back proof of his death. They will at last understand I am their prophet, and I'll give you the help you need. We both get what we want. We will show you the way. Everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I have waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. I have seen your face before. God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation.
come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. But he has a plan for you. Come. Walk with me. After God's cleansing fire, I saw the journey he had laid out before us. And I knew what was required when we set foot on our new Eden. When humanity emerged, I gathered my flock and set them on a new path. A rejection of everything connected to the old world. The creation of a new society, living off the land taking only what was needed. When the harshest years of the dark winter fell, I despaired. And in that despair, I found our salvation. This tree, its fruit a gift from God, which gave my family the strength to endure through the famine and the pestilence. New Eden thrived. We created a paradise on Earth. But it did not last. This plague of locusts saw to that. These high winds Embody everything God has instructed us to forsake. Their souls are rotten, diseased. But you, you are different. I believe your soul is worthy. is the help that you've been seeking. God's gift to us. That which sustained my family through the darkest time. First time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast that was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test.
you succeed, if your soul is pure, you are the shepherd sent by God, and I can return from my exile. Our miracle allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price. who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. Our future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our... Land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappear. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I've been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. God has sent us his sword. Here! God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows we me! We stand behind the Father. Son. I know you've carried a heavy burden in 
my absence, I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come. Let us all go together. We have much work to do. Get out of here, now! This feels real familiar. Like we've been down this road before. Oh. Relax. Stay a while. <laughs> oh, look at that. See how easy you can be to get along with? I wanted you to understand that. I wanted you to see that things could have ended differently if you just listened to us and went away. Instead, you chose the stick. Here it is. Oh, Spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> oh, you know. Before you showed up, everything was fucking good. And you came with your fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is And when we tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. Over and over and over. All because you thought there was a hope for your future? There's no hope for you! No future! For any of you! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Michelle, Louise, I need you to listen to me. Why? You're not coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father... Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. <laughs> Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle, you two need to take care of each other, because your dad, he won't. He has a lot of big plans, but everything he does ends in violence. Dad solves problems. He creates them. He leaves a trail of bodies behind him. He doesn't care who gets hurt. Don't end up like him. Promise me you won't be like him. All right? I fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. We'll always remember you. You took a risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush, I promise we'll make you proud. He was a good man. Selfless. And you, you, you did everything you could. Oh, those fucking twins are always a step ahead. We need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, come talk to me. Oh, this is amazing. All right, all right, we're going to get them all in one swoop. Uh, look, don't do anything stupid. Okay, I'm going to shut the fuck up now. I'm going to give you the go when the gun's in place. I know you. Derby winner. <laughs> Man, you put on a show. Hey, fucking hey, you did. Killed it. God damn. You know, it reminds me a little of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Come a long way for some of you. Fun as this is, we can't stay long. No fucking class. Been some new developments. Got a proposition for y'all. Come on in. <laughs> Who the fuck is he? He is our numero uno problem solver. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take us up north and hook us up with some crazy... Fuck is it, fruit? A sacred fruit. The miracle of New Eden. Yeah, that's it. Our boy here says that fruit will give you strength like you can't fucking believe. And for the right price, we're willing to share it with y'all. What the fuck are you talking about? We're the strongest already. Damn straight. It's for real. I've seen it. You hear yourself? Sacred fruit? Unfucking believable. You're going soft in your head like your pops. <laughs> Any other observations? I will give you the sacred fruit only if you do as we agreed. I want you to burn New Eden to the ground. A deal's a deal, man. We're reliable. Now. We... we must do it now. Come the fuck on. Man, we gonna burn this motherfucking shit to the ground. Magic fruit that makes you powerful? Bullshit. <laughs> oh my fucking god, they left already? Shit, this is fucked up. Look, at least we can take out these other ass wipes. The gun. Please. Ethan. 
brought them here. The locusts. Hey, rabbit. Thought we took care of you. You just don't seem to want to die. So fucking stubborn. We're stubborn too. The shame of it all is that we could have been on the same side. You and us. We really could have done something. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Well, let's end it. I guess I broke my promise. What? To mom. I told her we wouldn't end up like dad. We had a lot of fun though, Ray. You know, Rabbit, you remind me of our mom. She had hope. She had dreams. She, she just wanted to fucking make things better, and I should have listened to her. But things just got carried away. you got to do. Ethan, what have you done? I did what I had to do. I freed myself. I freed us all from you. From your rules. Ethan, don't. I will have what you denied me. You gave it to an outsider, but you wouldn't give it to me! I am your flesh and blood. That was God's will. You don't know God's I will! I was trying to protect you, son! The taste is sweet. Please.
Ethan? No. Father? Father. I'm so scared. I know, son. Can, can you forgive me? His only fault was that he was mine. Why can't I have one? You know the answer. But I want to be strong, like you, Father. This gift can be dangerous. And I don't want you getting hurt, Ethan. Well, what about when I grow up? Not even then. But why? I want one! This is not God's plan. Do you understand me, son? You're an old man. And when you die, I will take one. I thought I understood God's plan. I thought he wanted me to build a new Eden. But I am not his shepherd. You are. My soul has become a cancer. I am a monster. And I have only spread suffering and death in the name of God. My family... ...is all ash. Eden is dust. And there is no redemption for this. No atonement. There is only the justice of God's hand. End this vicious cycle. Give me God's justice. Release me. Release me.
He'd be proud of us. Look at what we've built together. How far we've come. There's always going to be trouble out there, but we'll manage, right? There were so many times that I thought we were going to fail. That all of this would be for nothing. But we just didn't give up. Because we had hope. Here's to hope.